Everything all right, Grantley? Fine. What are you doing? I uh, just forgot to get something from the car. OK. Mrs. Hanson, Grantley Budgeon, Head of English. We spoke on the phone. Welcome to Waterloo Road. I'm afraid that Miss Mason's unable to join us this morning. Oh, why not? She has been appraised of the situation. This is very serious. Yes, I'm, look, I'm sorry. We are more than aware of that. It's just that we both felt that this fell under my jurisdiction, being Head of English. I am fully authorised to deal with you, the situation. Please, if you'd like to follow me, I need to see all the coursework. I need to speak to the other teachers in your department. And most importantly, I need to speak to Miss Mason. But like I said, she's very busy. Yeah, so you've said. I find it staggering that she didn't prioritise an exam board investigation. No, I'm sorry. I've had enough of this. Uh, no, look, I can only apologise. Miss Mason's obviously got a lot on her plate. Does Miss Mason even know I'm here? I didn't think there was any need to involve the head. This is my problem, and I wanted a chance to sort it out myself. What, because you've been doing such a good job up until now? I've done the best I can. Oh, it's all right for you, swanning in on the last day of term, telling us how incompetent we are. You're not here day in, day out. Those who can do, those who can't teach. Yeah, well, it seems to me that those that can't teach work for the exam board. It's people like you that have boiled down education to just coursework and examinations. It used to be about the joy of learning. Have you quite finished? I think I've said all that needs to be said, yes. Good. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I think I've waited quite long enough. I'm Stella Hansen, from the exam board. I'm here about the investigation. Obviously, when I arranged to visit Waterloo Road, I expected to be seen by yourself. I think that's a fair expectation. Well, as I said, uh, I thought I was doing the right thing. Uh, what is it you always say, Miss Mason? Accountability and responsibility. Well, that's all very well, but... I find it hard to believe that we managed to conduct an investigation without it once popping up on your radar. Believe me, Mrs Hanson, neither can I. The cheating was picked up initially in your English department. Now, of course, all the other subjects have been brought into question. I suggest we get the English department together and get to the bottom of this. Rachel? What? The English department. Our initial investigation has uncovered 15 clear cases of plagiarism and copying. 15? Well, that's more than half of our IS level group. Well, these are only the most blatant cases, the ones we're sure we can prove. We don't take disqualification lightly. Disqualification? You're saying that the pupils involved are just going to fail the year? Well, there is an appeals procedure, but the exam board is rarely wrong. Not being my experience. Really? Picking one example at random. Maxine Barlow went from barely scraping a D in one essay to getting an A in the next. <laughs> Seriously, how was that not picked up at a coursework moderation meeting? OK. Different question. When did you last have a coursework moderation meeting? <sighs> I can't believe this. Well, they just kept being put back. We ran out of term time. Put back by you? What difference does it make whether we caught them cheating or the exam board did? Lazy little animals just getting what they deserve. What did you just say? Just that. If they are cheating, might teach them a lesson. Well, at least they learn something from your department. What's that supposed to mean? It means that maybe you should have done some of your own work this year instead of loading it off on the rest of us. If you had, we wouldn't be in this mess. How dare you? 
I'm not taking that from some slip of a girl who's only been qualified for five minutes. I'll have you know I've got... 30 years at the chalk face. Yeah, Grantly, how about you change the record, yeah? Don't you speak to me like that. Well, it's true, isn't it? You're always banging on about it. You're lazy. I'm not. Yes, you are. But I'm not taking this from the two most junior. Right, that is enough. You're worse than the kids. I don't want to know whose fault it is. Well, we at the exam board do want to know. As, I should imagine, will the LEA. Um, I know I haven't handled the situation very well. You haven't handled it at all. How long do you think you could cover this up for? It was not a cover-up. I was trying to manage the situation. I, you had so much on your plate. Oh, spare me. You were watching your own back, not mine. And certainly not your pupils or your colleagues. I resent that implication. Well, tough. The stupid thing is, if you'd come to me with this, I could have helped you. And now? You're suspended pending an investigation. What? I don't think you're in the best position to make that level of decision right now. I'm still in charge here, Granny. Go home. Right. We'll see what the union says, shall we?